So, um, Pisces, we do have the Four of Cups, a missed opportunity, and the Nine of Pentacles. Well deserved reward. This is being single because we might have missed the boat, the train, or the metro. Just saying. We turned our back to a situation, and what happens? We are now in our darkest fears. Nine of Swords, right? We are concerned. What is going to happen? Are they still open to receive me, to have me, to love me? Right? Nine of Swords. Do they still think about me? Am I still in their energies? Right? That's a Nine of Swords. A lot of um, thoughts dancing around and uh, preventing us from sleeping or something. Headaches. Right? That's a Nine of Swords. Somebody has headaches. And the Empress, nurturing energies. So it might be the mother of your children, the father of your children, somebody we really love, somebody we see as abundant, creative, sensual, playful, a business mind with a heart of gold, oh, and a leap of faith. We have the Empress with the full, a new beginning with somebody who is nurturing, kind, loving. This is also the energy of Pisces, we are loved and we need to trust it because we are loved. The Fool with the Two of Wands. If we make the choice, right? We are loved if we make the choice to be loved. Kind of the universe saying, yeah, they love you, but it's going to be up to you to choose this or to say yes to this. Anyways, let's see bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. We do have the judgment blossoming. We might have something new. We'll see as it goes. We might have something new. We might have a second chance to, to this love. But uh, like I was saying, it can be very well blossoming energies. I so love the judgment. It's the energy of awakening. It's the energy of deciding to do something different. Turn your life around, your love life. We are discussing love in this reading. So, so let's see. You know, before we jump to conclusions here, let's see. So past energies, Pisces on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies, and let's have the possible outcome. For you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies, bottom of the deck, we have the world. And the Eight of Cups, we are moving away. Oh, Ace of Wands, and then yourself. I love this, um, Pisces. And we have confirmations. Don't we love confirmations? You know how it feels, the overall energy? It feels that we are uh, moving on from a situation. You have twice the energy of happy endings and moving on. We are actually leaving something behind to move on to a situation that we are going to give happy endings to. To a new beginning and a blossoming of a new passion. And you show up here. Just to confirm that this is your reading, this is your passion, this is your awakening. You put an end to something and you give happy endings to another situation. Aww, I love this. I guess I want to be a Pisces today and every time we receive confirmation is like, yes. Thank you, right? <laughs> so it's a beautiful energy here. It is a beautiful energy. Now, Pisces, in the past, on your side. We had sadness and isolation, right? We had moments where uh, nothing was working. Three of Swords is um, kind of unable to function because we were in a lot of pain, thinking a lot because at the end of the day, it's the Swords. So the Swords is all about communication was painful, heart was painful, thinking about was painful, right? Um, and yet we found a way to go with the flow. We do have the Wheel of Fortune, this is also accepting the hand of destiny. This is also saying, well, you know what? It was not meant to be. Um, it's also the energy of I did my best and um, the universe kind of showed me a way. But, um, right? An energy of um, coping, coping with the pain and um, coping with whatever realization came. And I'm sensing that the realization coming with it was that we need to end something and move away because it was too painful. And um, I know on my channel, I say so many times, you know, we people make mistakes and we forgive and forget and we move on. 
and yet there is a time when right we um actually move on and we um kind of exhausted all the chances that we give to somebody so i feel that this is exactly what happened right we got so hurt and then we coped with this by deciding you know what um um let's um if the universe uh, wants this for me well so let's um you know allow it now this person of yours Pisces, in the past um they came to this connection with the energy of seven of swords deceit um cheating lying and energies of not being honest with you not being honest with themselves and not being honest with the level of dedication they put in this connection the level of effort how much they wanted this somebody might have been a little bit um i don't want to say in hiding about but probably very cautious this is an energy of not showing how much they want this for some of you um that is a little bit of energies of faking but hey somebody was faking and uh, mutual energies between the two of you we've been very patient both of you with each other um i'm sensing that was a journey for them and that was um a journey for you and then we needed peace of mind four of swords uh looks like communication stopped this is the energy of just breathing saying you know what uh this is too anxious this is too unsettling right it feels like this energy of well you know when somebody slips through your fingers and we don't know exactly but we cannot put right the uh the finger on it um sometimes they might have looked like okay i'm going to make the effort i'm gonna be present and i'm gonna be yours as you want me to be and then they would um go uh, back to their own ways right and their own ways would be seven of swords doesn't mean that they were cheating lying and deceiving you but can be really somebody putting walls around them right and being cautious about and um i'm sensing that this this was a little bit kind of what made you decide or or both of you decide you know what let's take a break here so what are we right now well we are ready to move forward that's for sure and the three of pentacles we want to build something for ourselves we need an honest partnership we want some somebody who um you know are uh, who's willing actually to um you know lay a foundation of some sort and, and lay down roots and uh, bring something solid to the table because we are not taking uh, nonsense and we are ready for success and moving forward that is that is this energy of a breaking free from from a partnership um for some of you, you might have been married to this person and now with the chariot is this energy of i want to breathe again i want to i want to be out of this right i want to feel free i want to and i want somebody for myself that will um you know be my equal and um and um bring something bring the same amount of energy or the same energies as i bring to the table now this person of yours they are in healing mode just like you i'm sensing a bit of um anger on your side of course i might um, be picking up something else but i that is a sense of um i can no longer take it the chariot is the energy of really bursting in the opposite direction of this partnership of yours now they feel lonely right now and the six of swords um healing or um looking for uh, calmer waters right looking for ways to and also um you know kind of they might be moving away that is this energy of you move away they move away of course can be um changing houses or selling the house and moving separate ways in two different directions there because there is also six of swords the energy of moving away of traveling of going away and five of pentacles they feel rejected actually um pisces they feel quite rejected right now and and in need of divine intervention um pisces both of you seeking and observing right seeking and observing each other um there are a lot of lessons in this one and that is a lot of thinking that is um uh, put by you by them the hermit is also a soul's journey and because we have endings here twice the energy of uh, of the world of endings i feel that both of you it, it was a major kind of transformation and a major event in your life 
And with the energy of hangman, it's also the energy of enlightenment. So one is from within, one is from observing what's going on, observing each other, observing the journey you are going through. And um, tons of wisdom, tons of wisdom and lessons and and stretching. I'm also picking up the energy. Yes, you want to break free. I'm sensing a bit more anger, like I was saying, on your side and you can switch sides, right? However you feel it resonates on their side, it's more of a need, of a need to escape um, because it's um, too heavy. And yet by, um, you know, um, by the energy of it, it feels like we are sacrificing to stay polite, to be wise, to be, to do what's right and um, and um, observe each other through the process, right? It's like a learning situation here for both of you. Now moving forward, Pisces, we have you in Hermit mode and with the Seven of Cups, right? Daydreaming and decisions and seeking wisdom, seeking enlightenment, seeking advice, shining a light on a situation. Um, probably not willing to see people much, but just being kind of in your cocoon a little bit and being, you know, my own environment and, and my own space. Um, quite protective. Of. For some of you, this is spending time in nature. This is meditating. This is all kinds of practices that will um, allow you peace of mind and also clarity because we might be a little bit confused right now. This person of yours, they go back to their own ways. Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Swords is quite again. They might be lying to themselves. They might be lying to you. That is this energy of disappointment. And with the Nine of Pentacles, it's the energy of being single, focusing on themselves, on their financial abundance, money, stability, and um, again, not being fully honest with you. Mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the hangman, enlightenment and clarity about the love between the two of you and about the choice. We do have the lovers. This is choosing probably the, um, the head over heart because that's how we get the vision and the clarity. That is a form of enlightenment that comes to you in regards to this love, you know, it's like um, and observe. But it's not the observing, I'm sensing more of um, the energy of stretching your mind and the energies of of enlightenment coming from understanding. It's, it's kind of a fundamental truth about this love. Um, Pisces, it feels like, you know, we, we go about life and we meet people and then we marry and we pick up, um, right, um, a partner and they stay with us and it's... Um, it's wonderful and we stay for years, um, 12, 13, 14 years and um, and so and um, and then it comes to an end naturally or unnaturally what God, God knows, you know. And then there is this realization, this clarity that yes, there was love. Yes, there was a lot of, um, you know, we had a lot of good things, but then it could um, never worked. I don't know if that's... Uh, the past tense or the the right verb that I'm but you know this energy that it could have never worked it was good while it lasted but in terms of what we know what we want how we evolved how we changed um in time we realized yeah that was but it's not where I see myself it's not where I want to be uh, they cannot provide that level of whatever that I want and it is this realization actually about a love, you know. And we are moving on towards um, passion and new beginnings here. Uh, Pisces, we have new vitality and blossom. I'm sensing here somebody is ready for new and it might have been a very painful ending and might have been, you know, us embracing the past and, and you know, um, kind of... Um, Maybe for some of you it might have been a very painful way with the Three of Swords. Um, but one thing is for sure, right? Um, it's time to move on. There is no love here. Uh, you see the energies like I do. And I believe both of you, you are ready for something new over here. And too much disappointment. They show up twice the Seven of Swords here. Too much disappointing. disappointment. We do have Gemini energy. We have Virgo twice. Pisces Cancer with the uh, the hangman, not always. 
uh, you have your energy Pisces so again it might be a Pisces like yourself but we do have cancer energy with a chariot and that's about it oh yeah time to move on we're gonna have uh, um, advice let's see what uh, what the universe has to say and what guidance we receive but the energy is so clear in this reading we move on it's done 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 it's a it's a dead horse with twice the world and their disappointment is um, unbearable so no well Pisces the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love so if they disappointed you so much and it's like i'm going to be single for a while and i'm seeing this energy coming your way it's the work of the Virgo, the hermit energy right so um if you are disappointed and you think um well the universe is saying no no don't give up don't give up that is love pisces love who you are baby you are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. Again, this energy of don't give up on love. Don't think that you are the one uh, who's, um, you know, wrong or inappropriate. Actually, no. Love who you are. And the only thing that is real is love. And we have love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. It's quite the opposite of all this. Um, so I don't know who this applies to, but it's completely different energy. So you have some of you, you have, you know, love who you are and don't give up on love. And then you have love endures, is hopeful and withstands every situation. Let's have some romance angels. Let's see what else we need to hear today. We do have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Love who you are, don't give up on love and notice the red flags. And we do have give your relationship a chance and I feel it goes with love endures. So some of my Pisces actually, they are guided um, to stay with it, right? But please use your better judgment, right? If they've betrayed you twice the seven of swords, at some point that is a time where we say enough. Work on your partnership, give your relationship a chance. And we do have stay optimistic about the about your love life. Honestly, we receive for two different Pisces here. We have some of my Pisces, right? Where you are guided to. And then you have like mainly the advice here is stay optimistic, pay attention to the red flags. Don't be blindfolded, love who you are and don't give up on love. Love is beautiful and but we go into it with the eyes wide open, right? So let's look at the energies we need to get back into the flow here. It's interesting, it is a split energy here. It's um, interesting, we, we once had this in the past, fully split. It's not split in half because we get three and three, but Pisces, we get the humor again. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life so okay humor i choose to focus on the lighter side of life and we do have surrender to your intuition and we know you have tons so tune in to your inner voice be aware of any gut feelings flashes knowings or aha moments that come through to guide you okay so it's about time we laugh a little and have fun listen to your intuition Surrender control. I can release my need to control. Whatever you want to control, Pisces, don't do it. We do have friendliness, humor and friendliness, right? We need to be more social. The way I'm picking this up in terms of energies is like, no, we need to go social. We need a YouTube channel or something. <laughs> I, I'm joking, but you know, it's the energy of being out there in everybody's faces. Why not? You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. Yeah, we need to have friends. We need to rely on them, develop, right? Nurture friendships. And bottom of the deck, we do have acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. 
So I feel more the energies of um, Pisces. We said the advice is for some of you, give your relationship a chance and endure. For some of you, it's like, no, 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 no. Love who you are and move on. And I'm sensing the whole energies is actually surrender control, let it go, accept it as it is, release it, listen to your intuition and go out there. And blossom, make or allow blossoming of some passion and new and new beginnings. Um, so Pisces, I hope I'm not confusing you, baby, because the guidance, I know, it's split in half. It's not 50-50, it's actually uh, 70 and 30, right? Anyways, um, 66 and uh, whatever. Hey, you know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. Please stay strong and safe for me and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.